Hey everyone, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem climbing the leaderboard. Alice is playing an arcade game and wants to climb to the top of the leaderboard and wants to track her ranking. The game uses dense ranking, so its leaderboard works like this. The player with the highest score is ranked number 1 on the leaderboard. Players who have equal scores receive the same ranking number and the next players receive the immediately following ranking number. Let's see an example. The four players on the leaderboard have high scores of 100, 90, 90 and 80. Those players will have ranks 1, 2, 2 and 3. If Alice scores are 70, 80 and 105, her rankings after each game that will be 70 is less than all the scores, so it will be rank 4th. 80, it is equal to the 3rd score, so she will get the rank 3rd. And 105, it is top of all the scores, so she will get the rank 1. Ok, let's solve the problem. Here we have the list of scores and the Alice score. First, we will remove the duplicate scores. So, scores equals list of set of scores. It will convert the scores to set and again to list. It will remove all the duplicate scores. After that, we need to sort the scores. Scores dot sort. Why we need to use sort function is we need to arrange the scores in the ascending order to get the proper rank. After that, we need length of the scores. Length of scores. Initialize the variable i to keep track of the rank. And initialize the result to store the results in the list. Okay, now we will iterate the scores from Alice for al score in Alice. Now we will use a while loop while i less than n and scores of i less than or equal to al score that is Alice score. If the condition satisfies means we will increment i. First we will check i that we are within the range of the scores list and Scores of i less than or equal to Al score. We will compare the scores with Alice score. If the scores are lesser means we will keep on incrementing the index. We will see this with an example. The scores will be after sorting is 80, 90 and 100. We will have 3 ranks. If Alice score is 90 means it will check for the condition. Scores of i 80 that is less than 90 so it will increment and scores of i is less than or equal to 90 it will again increment and finally scores of i that is 100 it is uh, less than or equal to 90 the condition fails so we will break out of the loop after that we will store the rank in the result that is result dot append n minus i plus 1 we are uh, using the zero index array that that's why we are adding plus one so after each iteration we are not uh, initializing i to zero because the alice score keeps on increasing after each iteration so we don't need to initialize i after each iteration hence we can solve the problem in single iteration that will be the length of the scores finally return the result return result Let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Alright guys, if this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.